I just bought a new drawer so that this area doesn't look so god awful anymore. And so I'm just gonna clear it out and we're gonna move in my new drawer! what my space is looking like right now which I think looks so much better just like super clean and there's so much space up here for me to do stuff now like I actually think I might move these guys which are my die cut stickers to be over here along with these guys which are my sticker sheets I'm thinking about moving them like all over here so that it's just like one station where I can just pick up all my stickers and pack orders over there but I'm still not really quite sure I'm still waiting on a couple more pieces to arrive in order to make that decision because actually this is new this is a new little stool thing that i got from branch they sent this to me as a gift and they're also sending me a desk that will replace this because this gotta go this is just a foldy table with a little bit of plywood and the plywood has like this laminate stuck on top of it to make it look like a real table but yeah this is long overdue to get replaced so i'm still waiting on that and my little transformation of this corner will be complete. I'm still thinking about if I want to get a rug, but I'm still a little iffy just because I have so much like tiny little pieces of paper that fly everywhere all the time. Good morning. I woke up today feeling like I wanted to get a little bit cute, AKA I'm going to put on eyelashes and go outside and not wear sweats. Even though I'm basically wearing my version of sweats by going outside, not that I don't go outside in sweats, but these pants, I wear them all the time because look at this. Look at that. Look at all that space and all that comfort. And I just throw on this unique low shirt and have it unbuttoned because I don't know, I kind of want my boobies out today. I don't have many much booby going on, but I like having them out. But yeah, I really need to get out of the house today because I need to get a lot of drawing done because my plan with me is coming up and I don't have the sticker sheets ready for that yet. But I have all the ideas, so not really that big of a deal. It just means I can get to sit down and grind. But I also have cabin fever, so I gotta get the fuck out of here. Since we're just doing like a quick cafe trip, just gonna bring my iPad and this iPad stand that you guys always ask me about and never look into the bio for. <laughs> this is always linked in the bio if you want to get it. It's like uh, I think it's like 18 bucks, and it's like my lifesaver in terms of like my posture and saving my wrist from when I'm drying and traveling at the same time. What else is going inside of the bag? Oh, headphones. Headphones, because I don't want people talking to me or looking in my direction. I need to grab my charger and then I'll be able to head out. Also, actually, I'm gonna do a quick little shout out because I've just been loving the actual product so much. I already think I already talked about this like little wallet slash phone stand thing. But I also got sent this like tripod thing for when I'm like out and about and I want to vlog or make a reel. Check that out. That's so easy and it just, they didn't pay me to do this. I just love the product. Look at that. Look at that. That's incredible. It does this. Just amazing. And it's so little and I just throw it in my bag so that I never have an excuse not to vlog. Which is kind of huge for me. Because <laughs> if things aren't convenient, I just don't do it. Not a very good like business or like content creator like trait about me, but it's just true. Anyway, we're gonna bounce now.
Hi, hello, we're inside my car outside of a KFC because after a very productive like four hours at the coffee shop, I took off my lashes, I put on a sweater because it got cold and it started raining like out of nowhere. That was not at all in the forecast. I just had like the sudden urge to have fried chicken. And I know there's a lot of like really great places for me to get fried chicken that aren't a chain, but I specifically had a craving for KFC, which is so strange because I don't think I've had KFC in like a decade. <laughs> I don't know. I was like laying on the couch like, oh my god, I really, really want it. And then I had like the sudden realization like, what is stopping me? Truly, like as an adult with my own money, with a credit card, with a car, and all this time in the world, what is truly stopping me from getting KFC? And so now I'm here because, I don't know, free will and a sudden realization that I'm an adult and I can do whatever I want. <laughs> So yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna order because I just don't even know what's on the menu anymore. Obviously, there's fried chicken. But I don't know, I kind of want to like make it worth it. Kind of want like a combo deal situation. So, but yeah, very excited to see what's been up at KFC in the past decade. <laughs> oh my God, it's a KFC Taco Bell combo. My luck. Okay, I got the four piece and it comes with a drink and a side and a biscuit. But now I kind of regret because look at this. This is only 20 bucks. But like this meal thing I got was $15. So an extra five, I could have gotten everything. Have my KFC and I apologize. I'm like always so backlit. But what am I to do? This place has a ton of windows. I guess my glorious craving come to life. And if people eating on camera triggers you for some reason, I don't know, stop watching. Just skip forward, I guess. <laughs> I just want to get a live reaction of a little my thoughts on KFC after all these years. Honestly, very crispy. I didn't get the original, I did get extra crispy, so I would have been very disappointed if it ended up not being crispy. But yeah, here it goes. I remember it being like tastier, like more savory. This is, I don't know, it's like a little bit savory, but it's just nothing compared to like, I guess I've been eating a lot of Asian fried chicken lately. There's just like not enough seasoning on the skin. I, if I'm gonna go get fried chicken or like fast food, I'm not trying to like, I don't know, be good and healthy about it. I want it to be like super savory and like not good for me, but taste delicious. This let me down a little bit. It's also like not super juicy, but I did just have a wing. Maybe a thigh will be juicier. Anyway, while I'm eating my KFC, I just thought I would quickly update you guys on my little reading journey. So I think the last time I talked to you guys about reading at all, which I have been really enjoying like getting back into the world of reading, especially since my interests are mostly like in sci-fi and fantasy. And I do have like a great weakness to romance and fantasy specifically. And I started the Aquatar series as a joke and then I just, I don't know, I'm like obsessed with it now. But I just read Silver Flames and okay, like I know I was like joking about like the fairy smut and like, the uh, pornographic nature of it all. But my God, Silver Flames, why did it do that? Why was the whole thing just like such graphic sex? <laughs> and like the thing is that I was reading it with my eyeballs, but I was also listening to the audiobook when I was like doing stuff. And it just so happened every single time that I was like doing something where my hands were really busy and I couldn't get to my phone to like pause it and turn off the audiobook. They would just be going at it. Like Nessa and Cassian need to keep that shit to themselves. It was just very traumatizing to like have to listen to it. <laughs> and then other people in the house would hear me listen to it too. And it's like, I didn't mean for this to happen to us. Like I enjoy the world building. I love the little politicking, love the romance, love the characters, but like, why? Why was it like that? Especially like right after like such a cute little novella that was like basically the Christmas special of the series. It was so cute. And then to move on to Silver Flames was crazy. And I know like Sarah J Mass is like kind of a meme, but it's like, I don't know, like why do I need to prove to you people like, I'm smart because of the stuff I read. I just think that read whatever you wanna read, whatever gets you to like open a book. Cause I'm reading some like heavier political books right now. And I just, you know, sometimes you just need like a fur funsies break. And that's what Sarah J Mass has been for me. And, but yeah, so I started a Throne of Glass and that book, is very fun. It is actually pretty like true YA. Like it's nothing like Avatar, but it's a great series. I think the story is really fun. I think the love triangle is written really well. It's not like these people are just inexplicably into each other. They 
have like an actual relationship. They like get along, they laugh together. There's like a reason why they like each other. I'm enjoying that. And I have no interest in starting Crescent City, but I might just do it because my friend just told me that it connects into the Aquatar world somehow. Wow, that's been my reading journey. I also started Six of Crows, but I haven't been able to get the next book at the library yet because it's a very popular series, I suppose. Do I want this big daddy piece right now? Mm, I'll take this one. And then I'm just gonna end this non-art part of this vlog right now because you guys probably are checked out. <laughs> Okay, bye. Mmm, mm, that's juicy. These are the legs, very, very heavy. And this is the top part, also quite heavy. So it's good quality. just like a little stool but I'm like having a little too much fun with this stool because it like glides really well and so I've just been like zooming around my room but anyway I finished building the desk and this is very much a tooth person job <laughs> I broke such a sweat building this desk because it is an absolute unit like it is very very high quality like the wood is super high quality and the legs are very high quality and that being said because of their rich quality, they are extremely heavy. So you definitely need two people to like help you assemble it. But anyway, this corner is looking better than ever. Everything is so beautiful. The wood grain matches and this desk is so sick. Hold on, let me show you. Okay, so if we remember before, my desk before was just a folding table and it only went up to about here. So this is my computer desk and that just only went up to about here. So now I've extended my space like another like 10 inches, which is incredible. This used to be like all the way over here pressed up against this and I used to have things stacked on top of it just because like I couldn't really use it as a table space because it was a little bit low. But now I just tucked this right underneath here and I tucked everything underneath there so that you can barely see it. I don't really reach for it too often, that's just a trash can. And so everything just looks really nice. And what's really great about this desk is that they're really thoughtful. They give you like a lot of cable management. So if you look down here, everything is like zip tied and it, they provide you all the like the little zip ties, which is so nice. And yeah, there are a ton of wires because looky over here. Oh my God. Look, outlets and you can hide all the cables and looky at this. This is the best part because I have always wanted a standing desk. Like this is so incredibly random, but I have always wanted to be those girls like in those reels and TikToks where they like, be like, hold on. they like walk on in and then they like put down their little coffee and then they do this. Incredible. And this is honestly insanely useful as an artist. As you know, I'm very much about things looking cute, but also functionality. When things aren't like efficient and working 
well for me. I either I just don't use it or I get very angry. So <laughs> having like a desk that's like this easy to use that's so pretty is so incredibly nice for my lifestyle. Because for one, I draw a lot and so usually when I'm sitting for like four or five hours straight, my little Apple Watch yells at me and tells me to stand up. And it's just like better to like spend a little bit more time standing throughout the day. So when I'm drawing, now I can have like my little, hold on, I can show you. My little iPad stand here and I can do my drawing and I won't hurt my little wrist because I'm going to be like articulating with my entire arm like you're supposed to be doing. And yeah, it's just... It's just like so incredibly useful and having all this counter space is really nice for one because I need to film a lot of stuff on my table and two, I pack a lot of orders so having extra counter space is always kind of a struggle for me so now I have my beautiful little dresser with the space and I have this with the space and I guess now I have an extra folding table like over there behind my door that I can use for extra space for packing orders, which is actually gonna come very in handy right now because I need to pack a bunch of orders from the sale I just hosted. And again, this stool that I've been playing with, so much fun. Look, it gets so tall. Hold on, you can't see. It gets so tall, so I don't really know when I'm gonna be this tall and then like wanting to sit this high because I can do the same thing sitting low, but just nice to have the option and I love playing with it. <laughs> Anyways, when the little lamp comes in, I'll show you because it'll complete my little, this corner transformation. And yeah, maybe I'll get like a plant or two because now like I have the counter space to support having a plant in this room. Hopefully one that I won't kill. <laughs> anyway, I need to edit a reel, do a shit ton of drawing. Oh, actually, let me show you what we did. So yesterday I finished a bunch of the drawings that I started at the coffee shop. I take a really, really long time to draw. I don't know what it is because my drawings are seemingly so simple, but they just take me a long time. Anyway, so this is the one that we were working in the coffee shop. Isn't she so cute? Look, Pepper is a barista. And this one is one I made yesterday. And again, it took me like so long for no reason, but I'm very proud of this one. They're like little coffee houses. So. Um, the inspiration behind this was, well, for one, I want to make like coffee theme sheet that I'm going to be using for one of my um, monthly spreads. And I'm just like so fascinated by all the different types of methods of making coffee. Like, I don't really know why it gets so intricate. I'm sure there are reasons behind it. I personally am a tea drinker. But yeah, I just thought that all the devices are so much fun. So just like making like little coffee shops out of them. I, I thought it was a good idea. I thought it was a good idea. Anyway, I'm gonna draw some more sticker sheets after I edit my reel. And I'm gonna do it all on my new desk. Oh my office is so freaking cute. out of my shirt finished two stair sheets and i think that's about it <laughs> but honestly that's a lot i'm also uploading footage for this vlog so that is finished on time to be posted this upcoming week because i have now recently decided that the plan with me is just going to come out a week late because i'm behind and honestly it's stressing me out way too much getting it out on time and i don't think anyone really particularly cares if it comes out at a certain time i don't really think people are like following my journal that closely at this point which is fine um i kind of just like want to share because i want to share not really because i'm like expecting people to follow along <laughs> Also, I have switched back to vlogging with my phone because something about the Sony's, like whenever I use, like I'm using the Sony ZV-1, which is my new vlogging baby, and I'm very happy with it. 
with everywhere else but in this one corner because I do have like windows everywhere and as you saw in the previous clips like the exposure was just like friggin insane and I have it on like the intelligent auto and it like prides itself on being like the easiest vlog camera which is what I needed basically I just wanted to throw on auto and just vlog whenever but it like cannot pull its shit together when it comes to the exposure so I think I'm mostly just gonna vlog with my phone and in places where there's really good lighting I'll pull out the camera and I'll use the camera as a as a number two like the initial idea was to have my phone be my second camera but yeah, I'm just back to vlogging on the phone, so sorry that the quality is still shit until I can figure out the Sony ZV-1. It's just gonna be like that. <laughs> Oh my god, my voice. Um, I haven't talked in like an hour and a half, so I didn't expect it to sound like that. Anyway, um, it is now a different time of day and I am in a different outfit. And it's because I went out to dinner with my best friend and I have yet to actually pack these up because I kinda, I don't know, I had a drink and I just like, I don't know where I've been for the past hour or two. I, I mean, I've been like cutting stickers, but I definitely could have been packing stickers while cutting stickers. Usually I do them at the same time. So yeah, not the most efficient use of my time, but now we're gonna finish packing those up and yeah. kids i have now packed up all the orders and i am so freaking tired Ugh, i just love this side of the room now the next up is i gotta redo this side of the room this this ugly side of the room but this is like such a utility side like i feel like this is like the storage side and it's like my work area where it's like clear it's a lot of space so that i can fuck it up and put things away but over here I don't know, I feel like it's really hard to hide what's going on over here, but I will figure it out and hopefully it'll be just as cute. And hopefully eventually in another vlog, we'll make that side just as cute as this side. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's probably been super duper long. So thank you so, so much for watching. If you guys wanna see anything else from me, any other videos, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I fucking love the comment section. And speaking of the comment section, thank you so much to everyone who left me a comment in the last video because I've just like been struggling mentally and that sounds like really intense, but I've just been dealing with like a lot of like insecurity and yeah, I'm just insecurity and anxiety and just a little, little blue. So um, I did read through all the comments and you guys are so fucking sweet. It was like just, 
It just melts in my heart. Anyway, I love the comment section. So if you want to chat there, I'm always there. And check out the description box below. We have the branch furniture linked down there and all of my social media, anything else found in this video shall be linked down there as well. And yeah, I'm delirious at this point. So I'm gonna end it here. Bye. Thank you.